Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a secret staircase. Now the cool thing about this staircase is it's flush with the ground and that means that you can have any flat surface and then you can trigger this staircase and it will pop up from under the ground. This is amazing. Now I can explain it with words but I bet I think it's best that we actually go ahead and we take a look at this thing. So let's head over to the bank here where we actually have the secret staircase installed. Now if you see my previous videos you would know that I actually did a video about this in a secret vault. But as you can see we're in the back of the bank here and pretty much there is no visible staircase. We can walk around here. There is no staircase in this bank at all but there actually is because if we go ahead and we flick this lever over here, it's going to reveal a staircase from the floor here. So you guys did not see that at all. And we can go down here. This could be like your secret base. This is actually a gold vault. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually build this staircase now. Now, if you guys enjoyed this redstone tutorial today, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button. We need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest redstone tutorials, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well. I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any new uploads. But let's go ahead and let's get into this tutorial now. So the materials that you are going to need is 27 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, 10 redstone repeaters, 17 sticky pistons, 1 lever, 13 stair blocks of your choice, I've just gotten some cobblestone, and 64 blocks of your choice. Now to start this off, the first thing that we are going to do is decide where we want to put the staircase. This is just going to allow you to position this a whole lot easier if you are actually building this. So if you want the staircase to be, or you want the start of the stairs to start here, we're going to dig out that block and then go three blocks forward. We're then going to dig this down two more layers. At the bottom there, place pistons facing up, and then place four of your blocks of choice. Now this should be your ground material, so I'm actually going to be placing grass there instead because this is the material that's going to pop up here and make sure it looks the same as everything around here. Now what we need to do is dig a 9 wide by 8 long by 3 deep hole. Now where we start this is a little tricky but I'm going to take you step by step here. What you want to do is stand in front of this little trench here. We're going to go back 3 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, and then go to the left 3 blocks. So 1, 2, 3. So this block here is where we're starting. So dig that out and then we're going to go 8 blocks to the right. We've already dug one so that's the ninth one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then let's go 7 towards the back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we should be in line with that trench there. Go 8 blocks to the left. And it should line up with this first one with our start position here. And then just dig simply back to the start there. Now dig out the blocks in the center. But do keep in mind about the pistons that are under the ground, so we, need, we now need to dig this down two more layers. You might again have to replace your blocks in case you accidentally destroy them like I just did there. So that's where my uh, pistons are under those four blocks there. So that is one layer, we just got to dig down one more. And there we go, we now have a 9 wide by 8 long by 3 deep hole. Now what we need to do is to the right of these pistons and our blocks here, we're going to leave a gap and then we're going to place pistons facing into them. So for each one here, have a piston facing into it. Then we're going to place one on top as well. Behind the pistons, we're going to place blocks in this pattern. So one here, then down, up and then down. We're going to place redstone dust in all these gaps, so one here, one down there, one here, and then one down there. Come back around, and in this gap here, what we need to do is dig out some blocks. So, not this first one, these last three here, 
we're going to dig out these blocks in between then the blocks to the right as well for these two corner ones dig out those blocks and place redstone down in the hole we're going to have redstone on here redstone there redstone there and then here we're going to have a redstone repeater then over here under this piston we want to dig out the block underneath it so dig that out and then we're going to dig one here two redstone and you should notice that this redstone here under that piston actually connects up with that one in the hole there now we've only placed pistons for one of these sides here and that is to actually hide the stairs we actually got to create the pistons that will show you the stairs so on this left side we're again going to leave a space here place a piston facing into the first one one above it one to the right and then one more going towards the back but on the lower layer there on this first piston here place a sticky piston facing upwards then we're going to have a stair block on that so make sure it's facing backwards to the front there we're then going to have a stair block in front of that one and then a stair in front of that piston behind the back here what we're going to do is place one block leave a gap place another we're then going to have redstone down in that hole there block on top piece of redstone dust here then leading into that block we're going to have a redstone repeater and set that to its max delay before that repeater place a redstone and then we're going to place a block to the right here repeater going towards the center and leave that on its initial delay there lead that into a piece of redstone dust then we're going to go towards the actual um, where our staircase would be here we're going to dig out that block redstone down in that hole leading into this block here we're going to have a repeater put that onto its max delay we're going to have redstone dust leave a gap and then place a block and then on this side of the block place a redstone torch now slight little problems but uh, that should not be a too much of a problem now we might actually just destroy this torch here for now but don't worry um, your contraption or your staircase should be completely fine what we need to do is um, we actually need to destroy this block here I shouldn't have done that first but we actually need to go instead of going forward we need to go backwards uh, but we need to go down one more as well so go down like this redstone there we're then going to have a redstone torch then we're going to dig out these blocks here so one two and then under this next one here so dig out that we're going to have a sticky piston facing upwards now I'm just going to replace that with my block of choice we're going to have a repeater here going into that piston and set that to its max tick delay we're then again going to replace that block that was originally there which we had the torch on so place that back down coming out of this block on this right side here we're just going to place a block in that hole there and then we're going to have a redstone repeater set leave that on its initial delay after this block here which the repeat or the piston is under we're going to have redstone we're then going to lead that towards the back here and lead that repeater into a block to the left here we're gonna have a piece of redstone dust and then a redstone repeater going into that redstone there to the right of the block we're gonna place two redstone and then go towards the back four redstone dust so one two three four and then lead repeaters into this block and that block and make sure you set them to a max tick delay then the last thing that we need to do is place down our lever but lastly we need to place a piece of redstone dust on top of this block here now this is where you guys can actually get creative think about this block here as your input if you power it it's going to show the um, floor if you unpower this block here it's going to show the stairs so you can actually set this up with a secret input and I'll put a card up on the screen right, right now which will take you to a video on secret entrances and I actually use some components in there which allow you to have a secret input instead of using a lever like I'm doing in this tutorial um, you can use an actual secret input to make sure that this staircase is a hundred percent secret and maybe you want to use it as a secret base as well so go check out that video I'll put a card up on right now check it after this tutorial actually that might be a better idea but as you can see let's go ahead and flick this lever here uh, just some slight problems we just need to sync this back up and as you can see it is now working properly here and if we just cover this up now so we'll 
cover this or flick this back off just so we can have the floor block at the top here. We can cover this all back up and it looks like there is actually nothing here. But have a look at this, there isn't anything here now. It almost looks like I haven't done any redstone tutorial today. But we can go down into the um, staircase here and this could be just like a little secret room of yours. Um, if you are going to use this to store var valuables, I would suggest looking into a secret input. Now to start this explanation off, we're going to note that this is in actually the closed state right now, so you can't actually see the stairs. So pretty much everything, well this side, this entire side here is actually powered. Um, it's kind of hard to start the explanation because there's a lot of things actually going on here. But uh, let's just note that these, all these pistons here are powered and these bottom ones here are powered. Now when I actually flick this lever here and it goes up, what is going to happen it's going to unpower this, it's going to unpower that repeater there. Now we first want to unpower these bottom pistons here first so it pulls the block down. Then we've actually got a delay over here which will wait until that is actually pulled down and then it will pull the piston and the block above it into this section here. Now these pistons here as I said will turn off first because um, that redstone there is controlled by this repeater. However, these pistons here are controlled by those repeaters, so this one will obviously turn off first before these ones do. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. So you should see this go down and then pulled in. Now that went quite fast because it also powers this side here. So what happened there is because we flicked this lever back up so it's currently not powering anything, it allowed this torch here to come on. And then we have a repeater here which is being delayed because we want to wait for this side here to actually pull its blocks in before we actually push these repeaters out. So that sends a signal into this block here. We again want to first power the pistons here so we only actually need to power this one here. So that gets powered first and then we power the pistons at the back here. So it pushes it out. This is now powered pushes the stair up here. These ones just simply need to be pushed out. They don't need to be pushed up at all. It's only the only this first stair here that needs to be pushed up. Then there's an interesting thing here when we actually flick this lever back on. Basically, we want to wait. This side here needs to wait for this side to actually pull its stairs back down and then back in. So we actually do that by waiting for this redstone here to turn off because that's going to allow this torch down here to come on, it powers this repeater which then pushes this block up. Then basically you'll see here that repeater's waiting, it waits for that piston to come up, then it sends a signal out. When that piston actually does come up, that means that that side has actually retracted. So you should notice here that piston will come up when that pistons, when these pistons here pull those, uh, pulls that piston and the stairs in. Now hopefully that explains everything, it was actually quite complicated, I'm not going to lie to actually explain this, so hopefully you guys get the idea of how this actually works. So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial, hopefully you enjoyed, if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and snap that like button, then go ahead and check out one of these videos, this one on the left here is another redstone tutorial, then the one on the right is a video personalised for you. But I will see you guys later, bye!